Brain fart. On today's broadcast, get an update on LPL Financial's technology roadmap. Future Advisor signs up the fifth largest bank in the U.S. Betterment forms a partnership with Uber and more. So get ready. FP Pad Bits and Bytes begins now. I'm Bill Winneberg, and thank you for joining me for this week's Advisor Technology News broadcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Nest Egg Guru, a stress testing app for your clients' retirement planning. Designed as an alternative to Monte Carlo simulations and calculating probabilities of success, Nest Egg Guru helps you tangibly quantify how client portfolios may hold up if future investment returns don't pan out as expected. Sign up for a no-obligation free trial at fppad.com slash nesteguru to see how this low-cost solution can complement the planning software you already use today. Now on to this week's top story that comes from LPL Financial, as this week the nation's largest broker-dealer held its annual LPL Focus Conference in San Diego. Now, I wasn't able to attend the conference, but LPL CIO Victor Fetter kindly connected with me by phone to cover several of the key technology announcements made at this year's event. First, ClientWorks, the replacement for the existing BranchNet platform, is now available to roughly 11,000 advisors, up significantly from the 500 beta testers this time last year. Next, an updated account opening solution is anticipated soon, which will streamline the creation of LPL account forms, pre-populate forms for clients with existing LPL accounts, and automatically fire off an electronic signature workflow. Fetter also highlighted a new adoption index score that advisors can use to gauge their own adoption of particular technologies and then identify areas where efficiency can be improved. And finally, lots of attention was given to Guided Wealth Portfolios, LPL's automated investment solution powered by BlackRock's Future Advisor platform expected to be available in early 2017. Fetter told me that advisors can choose to add their own brand to Guided Wealth Portfolios as an extension of their existing business, or they can create a new brand as a separate but complementary platform for certain clients. Guided Wealth Portfolios will consist of ETF allocations managed by LPL Research, and they will be visible in the ClientWorks dashboard. Clients can view their information using a mobile responsive website, but Fetter said that a native app for iPhone or Android is not anticipated at this time. Oh, and I think fees for this service are still up in the air, so we'll have to check back as the service gets closer to its official rollout. And speaking of Future Advisor, this week U.S. Bank, the fifth largest commercial bank in the United States, announced that it too will be using Future Advisor to power an automated solution for its clients with portfolios designed by, you guessed it, U.S. Bank Corp Investments. Like LPL's Guided Wealth Portfolios, U.S. Bank said the service is expected to be available in 2017 and fees for the service were not yet disclosed. More details on LPL Financial and Future Advisor are linked over on my website, so head over to fppad.com slash 193 to get the links to this week's top stories. Next up is news on Betterment, as this week the company announced a partnership with Uber, the multi-billion dollar global ride-sharing network, which allows drivers to open and fund a Betterment IRA account directly within the Uber app. Drivers do get special fees, with their first year of Betterment completely free, and after that, it's 25 basis points per year on accounts below $100,000. So guess what? The stakes for client acquisition just went up. In fact, way up. Millions of people recognize Uber, and when they see a partnership like this, they have to be thinking, hey, if Betterment's good enough for a huge company like Uber, it's got to be good enough for me. And for Uber, they could have chosen anybody for this partnership. They could have teamed up with Vanguard, Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, or even <coughs> Future Advisor, but no, they chose Betterment. So the way I see it, this is about distribution and decreasing client acquisition costs. Look, for years, industry commentators, myself included, have beat the drum about high acquisition costs of automated investment services and how tough it is for robo-advisors to actually make a profit. Well. If an automated service can immediately get exposure to hundreds of thousands of potential customers by getting embedded in another app, well, what's to stop Betterment from getting embedded in the eBay app to invest extra cash, or even into Snapchat right alongside the SnapCash feature? That's a pretty inexpensive yet clever way to acquire new customers. So welcome to the new front line in the battle for asset management. I hope your marketing team is up for the challenge. For details about Betterment's partnership with Uber and to learn about a slick new app called Siftery, 
Head over to fppad.com 193 to get the links to all of this week's top stories. Remember, Bits and Bytes exists because of the support of our sponsors. So be sure to check out Nest Egg Guru, a stress testing app for your client's retirement planning. See how this low cost solution can complement the planning software you already use by signing up for a free trial today at fppad.com slash nesteggguru. As always, I welcome your questions and feedback, so please send me a tweet using at Bill Winterberg or leave a comment on the FPPad YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bill Winterberg. See you next time. Populate forms for clients with this thing. <laughs> existing on today's broadcast. Bits and Bytes exist because of the...